Hey guys, welcome to SSD Weekly Security Recap. In this edition, we'll talk about new updates on the SolarWinds attack, privacy issues found in Alexa devices allowing attackers to steal data, rear ransomware attacking Windows devices, and a pre-auth RC found in TP-Link router. SolarWinds is a major information technology firm in the US with clients including major private companies like FireEye and some parts of the US government like the DHS. In December 2020, it was reported that hackers, suspected to be from Russia, were able to hack the company and deploy spyware on SolarWinds clients. This attack went unnoticed by SolarWinds for 9 months. Last week, SolarWinds, Microsoft and FireEye CEOs were called to testify in a congressional hearing. For now, testimonies have not given any explanation on how the attack happened or what could have been done to prevent it. But we did get an insight from the SolarWinds CEO who said that the breach was partly due to an intern using a password SolarWinds123 for the system access. This is just a reminder of how important are top-down security policies and that passwords aren't a proper safeguard anymore. Another interesting update here is that President Biden is looking into an option to sign an executive order to address gaps in the US national cyber security policy. Moving on, researchers found a few privacy issues in Alexa devices that could allow attackers to steal data or execute phishing attacks. These findings were presented in the Network and Distributed System Security Symposium by researchers from the universities in Germany and the US. They discovered that some of Alexa's skills could be abused by attackers. Skills are like apps for Alexa devices, some of them developed by third parties. The researchers accused Amazon of not properly vetting Alexa's skills, thus allowing attackers to use them for cyber attacks. They noted that a developer could make changes to a skill after it being vetted, allowing attackers to manipulate the skill and make it perform malicious deeds. At the time of writing this recap, Amazon has dismissed this accusation and say that they are vetting all skills. The researchers still urge Amazon to validate their third-party skills, and we advise you for the moment to install only Amazon developed skills. In other news, the French National Cybersecurity Agency, ANSI, discovered that a new Ryuk ransomware has the ability to spread on Windows devices using local networks. The Ryuk malware has a worm-like capabilities that allow it to spread on its own and infect other devices with no help from the victim or the attacker. It does this by detecting all the devices connected to the network it is residing on, then spreading and infecting these devices. The ransomware was created by a group that has been involved in many cyber attacks last year. In one of these attacks, they managed to ransom $34 million from one of the victims. Network indicators that may point to a compromise of your network can be found in the description down below. Our CV of the week is a pre-auth RC found in TP-Link Smart Wi-Fi Router, discovered by two French researchers from the security company Synactive. They discovered that the pre-auth RC can be executed by sending a specially crafted TCP message to the TDP server service. In this way, the attacker on the LAN of the router can gain total control over the router with the highest level of privileges. TP-Link has addressed this vulnerability and released a patch correcting it. Here at SSD, we recently disclosed a vulnerability to DWRT, a pre-auth RC exploitable from LAN. Unlike this CV, this vulnerability affects other vendors besides TP-Link, such as Buffalo. We'll release an advisory once a patch is released. That's it for now. More details about what we just mentioned can be found in the description below. Don't forget to follow us on other channels to keep up with the latest news and advisories.